Today, we're going to talk about the top 10 forbidden places in the world. We are naturally very curious creatures. We have an insatiable desire to see and understand the unknown. And when we're told no, we try to find out ways to learn about it anyway. It also doesn't help when that curiosity is paired with our love of exploration. Welcome to our channel, where we talk about all the beautiful places around the world. If you're new here, we're glad you found us. And if you're a subscriber, thank you for joining us again. Without any further ado, let's head straight into the countdown. To hopefully satisfy your curiosity even just for a little, here are the top 10 forbidden places in the world. On this list, we'll show you places closed to the public for one reason or another. Top secret military installations, such as Area 51, or indigenous settlements, such as North Sentinel Island, are omitted because those areas are restricted for national security and your safety. Number 10. The Coca-Cola Vault in Atlanta, USA Whether you believe in the authenticity of the secret or not, the vault that holds Coca-Cola's secret formula exudes a certain sense of secrecy. To be exact, we're referring to the safe holding Coke's secret formula that's displayed at the Vault in the World of Coca-Cola Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. The vault itself is open as an exhibit to the public, and visitors can partake in various activities from there. However, the safe holding the secret formula is inaccessible, though it is visible. Is it a publicity and marketing stunt, or is there an actual secret inside that safe? Only a few people from the Coca-Cola company know for sure but that doesn't make the inaccessible high-tech safe any less intriguing. Number 9. Heart Reef in Australia Everyone's heard of the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, but there's one particular coral that some visitors focus on, a heart-shaped reef called Heart Reef. Discovered in 1975 by a pilot flying over the area, Heart Reef is a picture-perfect reef that attracts loads of visitors annually to the Great Barrier Reef and the Whitsundays region. Amateur photographers love taking aerial photos of this reef, thanks to its photogenic shape and the surrounding clear waters. Couples also use this as a backdrop for their marriage proposals. Despite its lovely appearance and reputation, Australia has banned snorkeling or diving around Heart Reef to protect the coral. The only way to see it is by air, either by helicopter or seaplane. If you want to see this reef for yourself, book a flight with one of the four tour operators for Whit Sundays, so you can admire Heart Reef from above. Number 8. Bovalia Island in Italy Situated in Italy's Venetian Lagoon, Bovalia Island had a dark and grim history throughout its lifetime. It was originally built as an island fortification, but it became a quarantine station for plague victims in the late 18th century. Over 160,000 people died during quarantine, and some believe that the ashes of those who died from the plague make up to 50% of the island's soil. Napoleon Bonaparte also used the island as weapon storage, which prompted more deaths as battles took place here. And then, in 1922, the facility became a mental hospital, where a doctor murdered several of his patients on site before dying himself. The hospital closed permanently in 1968. Nowadays, the island is off-limits to visitors. There's no reason given, other than you're not allowed to be there. Number 7. North Brother Island in New York City, USA North Brother Island in New York City was another quarantine hospital, this time hosting patients suffering from various diseases such as smallpox, typhoid, and tuberculosis. It tried to have a transformation throughout the years, going from a quarantine hospital to veteran housing to a juvenile rehabilitation center. It was even the site of the steamship General Slocum's wreck back in 1904. But perhaps the island's most notable reputation is its internment of Mary Malone, also known as Typhoid Mary. Mary was the first person identified in the United States as an asymptomatic carrier of typhoid fever bacteria infecting over 100 people throughout her career as a cook. She was quarantined on the island twice, totaling 30 years, until she died in 1938. If you want to see this island today, 
you'll have to ask permission from the New York City Parks Department. Even then, you'll only get permission to roam this 20-acre island if you're a journalist or researcher, and a parks official will accompany you the entire time. Perhaps it's best to admire the hospital's ruins from afar. Number 6. Lascaux Cave in France Home of Paleolithic cave paintings, Lascaux Cave has been drawing in visitors since someone discovered the paintings in 1940. And for a good reason. The cave paintings from over 20,000 years ago are stunningly colorful and detailed, especially for their age. The cave became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. However, due to the number of people visiting the cave to view the paintings, microorganisms brought in by the outside threatened to deteriorate the works. That's why the cave was closed for public access in 1963, and replicating the original works started in the 1970s. Lasco II opened in 1983, featuring a copy of the two rooms from the original cave, 656 feet away. Lasco IV opened in December 2016, and is a complete replica of the original Lasco caves. It's the closest you can get to seeing these prehistoric cave paintings. Number 5. Svalbard Global Seed Vault in Norway If an accident wiped out all the potatoes in the world, how would we bring them back? By using the seeds from Svalbard Global Seed Vault, of course. Owned by the Kingdom of Norway, Svalbard Global Seed Vault is currently storing over 1.1 million seed varieties from different countries. The facility can hold up to 4.5 million varieties of seeds with each seed packet containing 500 seeds per crop. The seeds are stored in a temperature-controlled room, maintained at negative 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit, and in case of a power outage, the surrounding permafrost will keep the room cool. So how does a facility as important as a global seed vault keep itself secure, not just from intruders, but also from catastrophic events? The seed vault is located in Svalbard, near the North Pole, and is surrounded by glaciers all year round. Its remote location and cold temperatures are perfect for holding billions of seeds safely for several years. As you can imagine, the general public isn't allowed in the facility. No permanent employees are assigned to the building, minimizing the risk of theft and sabotage. Number 4. Island of Surtsey in Iceland This Icelandic island is actually quite young, having only been born from a volcanic eruption back in 1963. Since then, Surtsey has been the subject of research by scientists. It was an opportunity to study ecological development right from the very beginning. Because of this critical role, Surtsey is off-limits to everyone except permitted researchers. And even then, they are under strict instructions not to leave anything, so they don't disturb the life cycles of everything growing there. They need to keep everything untouched to observe how life begins on a new landform like Surtsey. However, that rule was broken when an unidentified plant suddenly sprouted on the island. Upon further inspection, they discovered it was a tomato plant. A seed from the feces of a previously permitted scientist had sprouted successfully. Unfortunately, the consortium studying the island decided to destroy the growing tomato plant as it wasn't a native growth on the island. If you're not a scientist but still want to see this unique island, you could charter a small plane to fly over the area. It's the only way to see it if you don't have special permission to access the island. Number 3. Issei Grand Shrine Japan is home to numerous Shinto shrines, but none is as vital as the Issei Grand Shrine. It's so important that the Japanese government spent 57 billion yen 550 million U.S. dollars, to carry out the scheduled renovations for the shrine in 2013, and they have to do that every 20 years, using nothing but specially treated wood, even when joining the pieces together. Why is it so important? Shintoism regards this shrine as the home of the sacred mirror, one of Shinto's most important relics, and part of the imperial regalia of Japan. The shrine is dedicated to the sun deity, Amaterasu, who is believed to live there. And because Amaterasu is purportedly the ancestor of the imperial family of Japan, only members of that family are allowed to enter the shrine itself. If you've traveled just to see the Issei Grand Shrine, don't fret. You could still roam around the shrine grounds. 
Kotai Jingu, the main shrine, is the one that's off limits to anyone but the imperial family. The most you can do is approach its gate. The actual shrine is hidden further away. The only thing you'll see is its roof. Number 2. Vatican Apostolic Archive Vatican Apostolic Archive, formerly known as the Vatican Secret Archive until 2019. The Catholic Church's central archive first opened in 1612 under the orders of Pope Paul V. It is the central repository of all official church documents, along with correspondence, books, and other papers that are relevant to the church. The archive is separate from the library, and researchers have to be approved ahead of time before they can retrieve a document from the archive. With a history as long as the Catholic Church, you can expect a massive archiving facility. And you won't be disappointed. It has approximately 53 miles of shelving and over 35,000 catalog volumes. It holds important historical documents, such as Henry VIII's marriage annulment request and a transcript from Galileo's trial. Sadly, the Vatican Apostolic Archive is unlike a library where you can pull out any book and sit down to enjoy it. Access is limited to select researchers who must present a letter of recommendation from their institution. They also need to state beforehand the nature of the research and their personal data. When approved, they can only be one of the 60 researchers allowed inside the archive every day. Not a researcher, but still curious about the archive? You'll get the closest portrayal in the book or movie the Da Vinci Code. Number 1. Ilha da Queimada Grande, Snake Island, in Brazil. Snake Island in Brazil is one of those places that no human should dare enter, even as an act of resistance. That's because its name is no word of a lie. It really is an island infested with thousands of golden lancehead snakes. And these snakes are over a foot long, with venom so potent it could kill a bird before it flies away. Still want to visit the island and maybe observe the snakes? That will be quite difficult because you'll have to convince the Brazilian government that access to the island is essential to your research. If not, either the Brazilian Navy or the snakes will definitely keep you out. One is marginally friendlier than the other. How did this 106-acre island get so many snakes anyway? When the Ice Age ended, ocean levels rose, which cut off the island from the rest of the mainland. The snakes who had been living here were now trapped on their own island, so they learned how to make their venom more potent. And as their population steadily increased, the island became more dangerous to regular visitors. Some of the most forbidden places on Earth have a pretty fascinating history. Where else would you find a vault that might just be one of the greatest long-running successful marketing ploys ever? Or how about a massive seed storage built within an icy mountain? Regardless of which ones you're most interested in, chances are you won't be able to see them in person, which is a shame. So what do you think? Can you name other forbidden places we didn't include here on the list? Comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to love this other video from our channel. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. See you soon, and until then, bon voyage.